What's up Greenwall, it's BX Token coming at you with a brand new video from the Optic Intel desk here on the Bricks. As we all know, the CDL is at a slowdown right now. I, we don't even have another match till like May, except for that, you know, research, rebirth, whatever bullshit that is. They got going on that another team in the Chandra's or open bracket has no chance of winning because the ACDL teams will be there. Nobody expected LAG to win either. So moving on, Optic Valorant Masters started up today. As we all know, at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, Optic Val will be playing, I don't even know how to pronounce the name, so we're just gonna call it XIA. Probably like Zia or Zaya or something like that, but I don't know how to pronounce it. So we're gonna go ahead and let that one go. Moving on though, we do have some news going down in the Halo sector let's hop into it guys matches that we had during do i say major i meant scrims so yeah what we did have going on this week is we had x set scrims we had g2 scrims g1 in pioneers and phase clan what i noticed throughout all these scrims guys is the big thing that we're we're lacking on is slayer in every single one of these matches, except the ones that we didn't lose any in, we lost those Slayers. I mean, it doesn't say too much, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, Slayer is what we're slacking in right now as far as I can tell. Uh, on our first matchup, we went against FaZe. And the maps, as I said, right here, we missed a, uh, a Stronghold Live Fire, 42 to 50. I mean, it's only eight, but I mean, still, we lost that. Stronghold, we lost 243 on recharge to 250. To have an overall win of 10 and two against FaZe, guys. An overall win of 10 and two against FaZe. So the next matchup we had was the Pioneers. And as you can see, we dominated the Pioneers. A 200 to eight on Stronghold. Come on, man. That was great to see. And another, oh, that wasn't even strong. It was my fault. That was oddball. 200 to 8 on oddball. 250 to 58 on recharge. My fault. My fault. That was dope to see. Overall, we beat the Pioneers. 6 to 0. 6 to 0, baby. Let's go. Our next scrim this week was against D1. And we faced G1 in 13 maps. 13 maps were, of course, like I said earlier, guys, bizarre. We lost 34 to 50 on a Slayer. Another one was Streets. We lost 37 to 50. Those ones were actually pretty different. Different, you know. We were only nine away on Bizarre from having a fucking getting steak, steaktastic, spectacular, you know. That would have been horrible. So, we really need to step it up in the Slayer Zone. And I really don't know, like, how to. Because we're really not doing that bad. The only one that's not covering the Slays is APG. And on all reality, he's an objective player. So, I mean, if Slayer's the only ones we're losing, as long as it don't cost us the Major, that's the big one. You know what I'm saying? As long as it don't cost us HCS Kansas City... That's the big thing, you know? Moving on to our next one, we had, we went against G2 and we played them in 13 matches and lost one, which was another Slayer, 48 to 50. Not too bad though. I just, I don't know what else to say about it guys. Slayer, Slayer and Stronghold, we've, we, we've had a couple up and downs on. Overall, though, we beat B2 11 to 1. I don't know if I showed this, but we also beat B1 11 to 2. So, I mean, as you can tell, the maps are going good. The team's playing good. We only have a couple up and down areas on Slayers, guy. So, for this episode of Uplink, that's going to be it. We're going to send you guys right over to Astro for the behind the brick. Y'all have a good one. Goodbye.
Welcome back to another segment of Behind the Bricks. In this week's episode, we're going to be shouting out and showing some love to DeBoozer. Had the pleasure of meeting him and talking to him and kind of getting to know him a little bit at the Optic Texas Major last month. We were just kind of outside the venue waiting for the doors to open for VIP on either Saturday or Sunday morning. I don't really remember uh, exactly which day, but I do remember the conversation. I remember he's a super cool guy, definitely carries the vibes, huge fan of Optic Gaming. In fact, he's such a big fan that when Optic reverse swept phase, um, he actually drank his beer straight out of his shoe. So make sure you guys go check him out over on Twitter. Link's in the description, of course. And uh, go check out his pinned tweet. At least at the time of this recording, it is the video of him doing that with the beer again after the Optic and Phase reverse sweep. So again, super, super cool guy. Definitely brings the vibes. Definitely brings the love for Optic. So go ahead and show him some of that love right back. Follow him on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, all of the socials linked in the description below as always. And I'll see you guys next week on another segment of Behind the Bricks.